Okay, good day class and welcome back to your ESI 124N, your engineering mechanics tool or dynamics of rigid bodies. And for today's lecture video is your part 2 of your lesson 8, the planar kinetics of rigid body work and energy. Okay, so in part 2, we have okay, part 2 siya ng lesson 8 and previously, obviously, we discussed the part 1 of the lesson 8. And for the lesson 8, we did discuss about uh, what is the kinetic <clears throat> energy when your um, when your rigid body is in planar kinematics. No? And then when we say planar kinematics, a planar kinetics rather is um, it involves three planar motion. We have our translational motion. We have your rotational about the fixed axis motion and your general plane motion. So, as you can see, may iba yung, um, may iba yung <clears throat> what we call the kinetic energy for both um, uh, translation. Um, so, translation, it's, it is the same when we are talking about kinetics lang, no? So, mostly of your object there are... Um, um, either rectilinear or uh, curvilinear motion. And, but when we say um, rotation about the fixed axis, may iba or it will be um, a different um, kinetic energy or iba yung computation when we are going to talk about planar kinetics. And we did discuss or we did derive, no? The how, what, or what is the planar, oh no, uh, what is the kinetic energy when your body is in translation um, rotation uh, rotation about the fixed axis okay na discuss din natin doon sa uh, part 1 yung mga work na nagagawa na ano mo um, uh, when your body is in um, rotation rotation um, rotation about the fixed axis or general plane motion, no? Kung ano yung work mo, kung yung, if your uh, force is a variable or it, 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 it or constant. We did also discuss kung paano i-compute yung work of the weight, work of the spring force, uh, and we also discover yung uh, mga forces na hindi nag uh, do work, okay? And um, uh, also we discuss about sa lesson oh no, lesson 8 part 1 the work of a couple moment so biglang sumulpot si couple moment kasi nga we're involving the rotation here no rotational uh, motion here so ayun maging si uh, moment <clears throat> or couple moment no and we did also um determine no how to compute the work of a couple moment which is um moment times Theta sub 2 minus theta sub 1. So, um, I think that's all for the part 1. No? So, today, we're going to continue um, discussing the le lesson 8. And um, our lesson 8 part, part 2 will be your principle of work and energy. Ano ba yung principle of work and energy when we are talking about planar kinetics? Okay, so next is your conservation of energy. So I think these are all fam familiar now because uh, we did uh, discuss this in the lesson 7. You have your principle of work and energy and your conservation of energy. So at the end of the lesson, you must be able to discuss the principle of work and energy and uh, explain the concept of conservation of energy using planar analysis and lastly solve problems about planar kinetics of a rigid body applying the principle of work and energy and conservation of energy. Okay? So, let's start with the principle of work and energy. So, the principle of work and energy for a rigid body is this one. Alam natin to. We did um, derive this one on our lesson 7. And, yun, ulit ul lang siya. And, uh, it, it, it's also applicable here sa planar kinetics of a rigid body work and energy. So, ganun pa din, no? The sum of uh, initial kinetic energy of your body and your total 
work done by all the forces uh, present on our rigid body and it is equals to the final kinetic energy okay so that will be t sub 1 plus summation of u sub 1, 1 to 2 is equals to t sub 2 okay ito yung, yung, um, yung um, general formula when we are talking about principle of work and energy okay but kumbaga uh, yung equation na to states that the body's initial translational and rotational kinetic energy Ayun, consider natin yung rotational kinetic energy kasi nga we were talking about planar kinetics here. So, plus the work done by all external forces and couple moments. So, dito na rin si couple moments. And yung pag kinagkaiba, sa so, uh, lesson 7 natin yung kinetics lang. No? Kinetics of a particle and the difference between the kinetics of a particle and the planar kinetics of a rigid body. Okay? So, um, in dito, including na, o oh, include na yung um, work done by couple moments and we also consider rotational kinetic energy. Kaya medyo um, may pagkakaiba talaga sila. No? So acting on a rigid body as it moves from its initial to final position is equal to the body's final translational and rotational kinetic energy. And we also um, know what is the computation or what how to compute this kinetic energy of a translational and rotational motion okay then derive na natin yan the support one okay if you forgot then go back to your uh, part one okay so note that t refers to translational and rotational kinetic energy and is equal to this one so ito uh, yung pag solve ng kinetic energy natin when we are talking about planar kinetic Planar kinetics, okay? That will be a half of mass times uh, the square root of the velocity plus a half of the moment of inertia times the angular velocity squared, okay? So this is your, <clears throat> how to compute your um, kinetic energy, uh, both translational and rotational kinetic energy, okay? So where one half mass times B sub G squared is your translational kinetic energy, and one half of the moment of inertia times the square root of uh, angular velocity is your rotational kinetic energy. And we all know that one. It's a lesson, one, lesson, a lesson 8 part 1. Okay? If you want to know how to get it, you can forget it. problem is that you can uh, recall or review how to get it. Anyways, important thing to is that you know the formula that you can Okay, so also the work, okay, submission of all U, oh, submission U, or uh, it's, it's, it's the total work done, okay? From 1 to 2, we have first to the sum of all the work done by the external forces and can be determined using the formulas. Ayan, if your uh, force is variable, ito yung gagamitin mong formula. If your work, oh, if your force is constant, ito yung work mo na gagamitin. Okay, so that would be your work of the weight naman is this one, negative W delta Y. Alam natin kung bakit negative yan, no? Um, the work of the spring force, ayan, one half, or negative, one half KS sub 2 squared minus one half KS sub 1 squared. Ito yung pag-compute ng work of the spring force. And also with a couple moment, no? Ganito din yung formula on how to solve your moment, or work of your couple moment, Okay? And your total or sum of sum of all the work done on the uh, on our rigid body that will be submission lang view one to two okay. Kung na compute mo na talaga lahat, sum mo lang sila lahat algebraically, and you can have your um, work okay. So next is note that the work of the rigid body's internal forces is not considered in equation 84.4.1 because these forces occur in equal but opposite collinear pairs thus the work is zero okay so hindi na uh, sa formula na to hindi nakasama yung internal forces kasi nga both forces are opposite and collinear pairs so therefore, you, you sum of the of the work or sum of all the work done by the internal forces is equal to zero. 
Masih nga opposite then if you add up opposite signs that will be minus no? so that will be zero and uh, equal lang din yung mga forces na or the magnitude of the force then yun nga magiging zero lang siya when we are going to sum of all the internal forces or sum of all the work by caused by internal forces okay so the principle of work in energy or this one t sub 1 plus assumption of u 1 to 2 is equals to t sub 2 can be used to solve kinetic problems that involves velocity, force, and displacement. So, dito rin yung, ito yung gagamitin mo if your problem hangga, involves um, energy and work and kaya, or um, hinahanapan ka ng velocity or force or displacement of your system, then you can use this principle of work and energy formula. Okay? So, procedure for, analy for analysis para meron tayo step-by-step -step na gagawin when we are going to solve these kind of problems. So, first is you are going to identify the given and announce or the required in the problem. So, yun yeah, first step mo yan. Second is to draw the following important diagrams to help visualize and analyze the problems. So, this first diagram na, na kailangan mong i-draw para naman meron kang guide or to help visualize. The problem first is your kinetic diagram for the kinetic energies, okay? So establish, establish kinetic, kinetic diagram since it is useful for determining the velocity at the mass center of the body V sub G and angular velocity, okay? So the kinetic energy of a rigid body is made up of two parts and can be determined using the formula kasi nga two parts, your translational at yung rotational. Okay? So, masasolve mo dito or matutulungan ka dito to visualize your um, kinetic energy for both translational at yung rotational kinetic energy mo. So, alam na natin ito kung paano ito compute In this special cases of rotation about the fixed axis or rotation about the instantaneous center of velocity or center of zero velocity of, or IC, the equations above can be combined and expressed into Ayan. So, pwede mo tong di ba, i-add mo to yung tungtong dalawa for the total kinetic energy. But there's a special case na magiging zero yung ano mo, uh, velocity. And that's what you call a instantaneous ayun, center of zero velocity. And magiging um, t is equal to 1 half i sub o uh, angular velocity squared. So, magiging ganito siya. Magiging simplified siya ng parang ganito. Okay, 1 half of i sub o angular velocity squared where i sub o is equal to i sub g plus um, r sub g squared okay so if compute ka ng i sub g then you just have to multiply the mass times the r sub g squared okay then multiply mo lang ulit sa angular velocity squared mo then i half mo lang then you can have your total kinetic energy okay Next is your free body diagrams for the work naman. So, ano ba yung mga forces na nandun or ang free body diagram? It will help you visualize nga kung ano yung mga external forces that acting on our body. Okay? So, that will be establish or draw a free body diagram of the rigid body when it is located at an intermediate point along the path in order to account all the external forces in couple moments which do work and on the body as it moves along the path. So, yun nga. It will just help you to visualize and analyze, of course, what are the na extra forces na dapat mong i-account to solve for the total work done on the object. Okay? So, always remember that the force does work when it moves through a displacement in the direction of the force, and the forces that are functions of displacement must be integrated to obtain work. Okay? So, kung functions uh, yung mga forces mo or variable yung mga forces mo, you just have to integrate that one to obtain the whole, uh, the total work of that uh, function. Okay? So, kung isinabi dito, always remember that the force will do work when it moves through a displacement in the direction of the force. So, if hindi siya in the direction of the force, in negative siya. So, um, hindi siya likely wala siyang work negative lang talaga siya negative lang talaga yung work niya and of course um kung yung force mo 
is perpendicular to the displacement. Ayun nga, cosine 90 is zero. So, wala kang work done. Okay? So, yun yung kinatawag na natin na pang forces that do no work. Sa lesson part, lesson 8 part 1. So, doon natin na alaman, ah, meron pala mga forces na hindi nag, uh, nag-work. Hindi nag-work. Basta, wala siyang work. Okay? Kasi nga, either um, yung direction ng force niya is perpendicular to the direction of the displacement of the object. So, based on the formula or the general formula computing the work is F S cosine theta. And if we compute for the cosine theta and the theta when are perpendicular yung force siya displacement mo, that will be cosine 90 is equal to 0. So, F S times 0, that will be account to 0. So, yun yung mga examples na mga forces. Although, discuss na naman natin to last lecture video natin. So, work on mo lang na. Okay? So, next, the work formulas of the different forces can be computed using this one. Alam na natin to. Okay? Ito lang yun. Ito yung mga computations to have your work each of the forces that acting on our body. Okay? So, note that the, it is important that proper sign of each formula is specified. Now, when the force of a couple moment is in, is in the same direction as its displacement, the work is positive. Alam na natin yan, okay? Para siyang rule of thumbs. Rule of thumb. Kung in the direction yung force mo sa displacement mo, your work is positive. Okay? Huwag kayong malito. Otherwise, the, when the force or couple moment is in the opposite direction as its displacement, the work is obviously negative. Okay? Yan lang. lang. So the principle of work and energy is a scalar equation and can be solved or can be used to solve for only one anon when it is applied to a single rigid body. Okay? Huwag mo kalimutan na yung principle of work and energy is a scalar equation. Okay? So it can also be solved for only one anon. Okay? Only one anon lang kaya niyang i-compute or kaya kaya niyang i-solve. Okay? So this is your principle of work and energy formula, P sub 1 plus um, total work is equals to the final kinetic energy or P sub 2. Okay, so let's have an example. So the 30 kilogram disc show in the figure is pin supported at its center. Okay, so meron siyang ano dito, pin support, tapos dito din sa ano natin, sa disc natin meron din siyang pin support. Determine the angle through which it, which it must rotate to attain an angular velocity of 2 rad per second, starting from rest. Okay? It is acted upon by a constant coupled moment, m is equal to 5 newton meter. The spring is originally unstretched and its core wraps around the frame of the disc. So, ang kailangan natin hanapin is the angle. Okay? Determine the angle through which it must rotate to attain angular velocity of 2 rad per second. So, ano dapat natin gawin first? Ang procedure of analysis, identify the required and the given. Okay, ito yung mga given natin sa problem na to. We have your figure. We have your K is equal to 10 newton meter sa spring na to. Okay, the couple moment is equal to 5 newton meter. We have our the radius of the disc, 0 0.2 meters. And so we have the mass of the disc is 30 kilograms. There, our initial angular velocity of the disk is zero kasi nga, starting from rest. And kailangan natin i-consider yung final angular velocity niya is 2 rad per second. And our moment ay again is 5 newton meter. And our required for the problem is the angle that the disk must rotate to attain an angular velocity of 2 rad per second. That will be your theta. Next is draw the free body free body diagram to show all the forces in moment that do work and do no work. Okay? So, andito na ito. Ito yung mga forces. Nandito yung ano mo. Sa disc natin, we have your spring force. We have the reaction at the support point O. We have your O sub Y, O sub X. Ayan. So, we have your also your coupled moment, M 
is equal to 5 newton meter and also your weight 294.3 newton okay so based on the problem it, it it only has rotation about the fixed axis or that this only rotate at a fixed point o thus wala siyang translation so we just have to um <clears throat> Consider lang the rotational kinetic energy natin dito. Ayun. So, medyo simple lang na problem na ito kasi hindi siya nag-translate. No? Kasi nga, fix lang yung rotation niya at, at, at that point. So, hindi siya nag-translate over it at, I don't know, position. Okay? So, we only have your rotational kinetic energy. So, therefore, your total, your kinetic energy for this disk is you have one half of the moment of inertia sub G times the squared of the angular velocity. So apply the principle of work and energy equation. We have here T sub 1 plus the summation of all the work 1, meta, 1 to 2 is equal to T sub 2. For T sub 1 naman, we have your 1 half I sub O <coughs> times um, angular velocity sub 1 squared where angular sub 1 is 0 from starting from the rest fan. So your T sub 1 is equal to 0. Okay. Simple lang. So, T sub 1 is also 0. For T sub 2 naman, since our our angular velocity na kailangan natin i-attain is 2 rad per second, so meron siyang, of course, kinetic energy. So, we have I sub O is equal to I sub G, so same lang din, so 1 half MR sub O squared. Point O coincides with the body's mass center G. Kasi nga, Yung point O natin is nasa center lang din sa, na, sa this natin. So, we can just equate that to I sub G. So, same lang din sila. Okay? Then, your T sub 2 is 1 half times 1 half of the kilo, 30 kilograms times 0 0.2 meters squared times 2 rad per second square. Per second square. So, that will be T sub 2 is equal to 1.2 joules. Now, for work naman, kasi nga, we have three um, uh, announce na kailangan natin uh, alamin for the para magamit natin yung uh, principle of work and energy formula. We have your T sub 1 na kuha na natin na 0 siya kasi nga starting from rest. And we also saw for the T sub 2, we have your 1.2 joules and na only left is to work or the total work done by the disc or on the disc, right? So as shown in the figure, Sa FBD natin, the reactions of point O, O sub X, and O sub Y, and the weight W do no work because they are not displaced. Okay? So, hindi siya na displaced, so wala siyang um, work. Kasi nga, wala siyang displacement. Okay? For the vertical na mga, and also sa O sub X and O sub Y, and all, also the weight. Okay? So, wala silang work. So, that's only the spring force and couple moment do work. Okay? Sila lang yung nag-work. Yeah. Sila lang yung nag-work. Okay. So, work of the spring force is equals to one, negative 1 half ks squared. We have your s is equals to s theta. Bakit naging s theta to sir? Kasi nga, we have your arc length. Ito yung displaced na length ng spring mo. Kasi nga, na, 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 di ba? problem stated na yung spring mo is wrapped around the disc. So, meron siyang displacement or meron siyang, or your spring is displaced, no? And it's on the circumference of this disc. So, para makuha natin yung length na na-displace niya, initially, hanggang sa final na yung angular velocity mo is 2 rad per second. So, para makuha yung length na na-displace is you are going to use is or the arc length formula, we have, your, we have your S theta. Okay, which is your S is your uh, radius of the disk. We have your 0 0.2 meters. So, that will be U sub S is equal to 1 half, negative 1 half of 10 newton meter. This is your uh, uh, spring constant. We have your 10 newton meter times theta, 0 0.2 meters squared. Kasi nga, ito yung radius mo. Okay? Your theta is here. So, have your u sub s is equal to negative 0 0.2 theta squared. So, hindi natin alam kung ano yung angle kasi nga yun yung, 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 yung hinahanap natin. So, ano yung na-displace or ano yung angle na na-create um, na 
after na nag-displace na na na-attain niya yung speed or angular speed or angular velocity na 2 rad per second. So we have your work of the spring is negative 0.2 theta squared. For the couple moment moment naman, we have your formula m theta. We have your u sub m is equal to 5 newton meter theta. Hindi rin, hindi rin natin alam kasi nga wala siyang ayun yung hinahanap natin. So your total work is Ayan, so spring force plus the uh, work of the spring force and work of the couple moment. Okay, is equals to 1.6 joules. So therefore, that will be negative 0.2 theta squared plus 5 theta is equals to 1.6 joules. So solving for the theta, either using quadratic equation or cal calculator technique. Pwede kayong pabili sa dalawa na technique using quadratic ba or calculator technique kasi pwede itong sa calculate diba shift mode no mode tas um, equation so dot you can have your um, values no? so select the smallest positive root since we are required to solve the least theta to attain an angular velocity of 2 rad per second so, thus your uh, angular, ano, uh, theta is equal to 0 0.2424 24 rad. Convert natin sa so degrees, we have 180 degrees per pi to convert this rad to degrees. So we have your angle to be 13.89 degrees. So that's how you solve your theta or your, ano, uh, using the principle of work and energy. Okay? So, napaka-importante talaga ng FBD. Kasi doon mo malalaman kung ano yung mga work na uh, merong work or meron silang uh, forces na nag uh, do work and do no work. Okay? So, this is the point here. So, this is how you use your principle of work and energy. Okay? So, therefore, your theta is equal to 13.89 degrees. Okay? I hope you get that. So next example naman para malam para ma ano talaga natin maintindihan talaga natin yung principle of work and energy involving your planar kinetics of rigid body. So example 2. A force of P is equal is equal to 60 newton as if as applied to the cable. Ito yung cable na cable. Cable natin, okay? Which causes the 200 kg reel to turn since it is resting at the two rows A and B of the dispenser. Determine the angular velocity of the reel after it has made two revolutions starting from the rest. Neglect the mass of the rollers and the mass of the cable. Assume the, the radius of gyration of the reel about its center center axis remains constant at k sub o is equal to 0.6 meter. So, kailangan natin hanapin dito is your angular velocity after it has made two revolutions starting from rest. So, let's go. Let's solve this one. So, we have your given and the required is angular velocity of the rail after it made two revolutions. That will be your um, mega, mega sub 2. Okay? So, that will be figure. We have your um, radius of the reel of wire, the point O, and the radius of the whole um, uh, uh, reel of wire. Okay, so that will be also the distance between the two rollers. We have your 0 0.6 meters or the radius of gyration. So that will be P is equal to 16 newton. We have your mass 200 kilograms and angular velocity initially is. Zero because it at rest. Okay, so free body diagram. So show all the forces in moment that do work and do no work. We have your weight, we have your ranges, we have your force, applied force, we have your normal reactions, a normal force in our reel of wire. We have yeah, our cable. So this problem only applies to rotational kinetic energy since the reel rotates about an axis. So ayun. Rotational axis again. So hindi na natin kailangan mag-solve ng um, translational which is your 1 half mv squared. So wala siyang 
Ayun niya, hindi siya nag-displace or hindi siya nag-translate to another position. Favior T is equal to 1 half I sub G angular velocity squared. So, apply the principle of work and energy equation. Ayan. To solve for our angular, our final angular velocity. So, that will be 4T sub 1. We have here. So, that will be 0. Kasi nga, starting from the rest again. So, ayun. So, T sub 1 mo is 0. Okay? That's it. Starting from rest. Therefore, your angular velocity is 0 initially. So, 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 pag solve natin sa kinetic energy initially is 0 as well. So, for T sub 2 naman, we have your I 1 half, I sub O. Okay, angular velocity sub 2 squared. So, have your... Kasi nga, same pa rin sa example 1 natin, nag-coincide yung center of mass or body center of mass sa center of rotation natin. So, point O. So, that will be equal lang sa isip she. Okay, that will be mk sub O squared. Times na natin yung mass ng real times the radius of gyration para makuha natin yung I sub O. Therefore, we have your um, simplified formula for final kinetic energy. We have your 1 half mk sub O squared times angular velocity or final angular velocity squared. So that will be 1 half 200 kilograms zero point, times 0 0.6 squared times angular velocity squared. Therefore, your T sub 2 is equal to 36. Okay? Angular squared. So that will be your final kinetic energy. Kasi nga, ito yung hinahanap natin, no? After two revolutions. For, ano naman? For the total work done by the external forces, okay, that will be as shown in the figure, only the applied force P does work since the weight and the normal reactions does, does new work does no work kasi nga hindi siya nag-displace or it is fixed. So, again, nag-neglect na din na ulit natin yung weight and of course, um, your reactions. Okay? So, only the applied force lang daw yung nag-work. Okay? So, force P does positive work because it's displacement and direction it is and since applying on the force is the same. So, papuntang Rotation natin is pag ganito and your force is pag then. So, we have your work to be positive. Alam natin yung kung bakit. So, work of the constant or applied force that will be used of P is equal to P sub S. So, P times S. That will be the work displaced by S is equal to number of revolution times R. Okay? So, <clears throat> ito yung mga... Uh, ito yung kumbaga distance or the displacement ng after two revolution because of, of because of the force okay applied force so nang dahil na meron tong inapply na 60 newton nag rotate yung cable of wire parang ano lang ba kung meron kayong extension uh may extension wire that's para siyang nasa roll yung kumbaga so if you pull that out so of course ro rotate yung uh, roller mo ng extension mga good good ganin ganun din dito na nangyari okay so ang kinumpute mo ng distance is yung radius niya times the number of revolution so yun yung pagkuha ng total s mo after you apply the uh, force okay so to, to solve again so this place meant ng s mo that will be number of revolution times the radius so you have your 2 rev Convert natin to rad. Okay? That will be 2 pi rad per 1 rev. So, that will be 0.75. Okay? So, that will be S is equal to 3 pi meters. So, ito yung na-displace na distance mo when you apply the 60 newton. Okay? That will be S is equal to 3 pi meters. Okay? So, applied natin. That will be 60 newton times 3 pi. That will be 185. So, ito yung work done by the constant force or the work of the constant or applied force right okay? that will be 185 okay so therefore applied natin yung um since you already have all of the um terms here we have we have we, have, we, all, we solve already for the t sub 1 we also solve for the work and we um determine na yung applied force lang yung nag work okay and also the final um, kinetic energy 
using the radius of gyration kasi hindi siya nga, hindi nga nagtranslate yung uh, rail of cable natin kasi nagrotate lang siya at fixed point O okay so substitute lang natin yung mga values na na-compute natin so that would be 185 040 sub 1 you sub for submission of all the work and 36 okay mega squared sa T sub 2 so that will be 185 this is your work done with the applied work of the applied force is equal to 36 um, mega squared so that will be your angular velocity after it rotates to revolution or it after to revolution your angular velocity or the final angular velocity di is 3.963 rad per second or approximately 3.96 rad per second so that's how you solve or that's how you solve your problem using principle of work and energy Okay, so that will be 3.96. Okay, I hope you get that one. So next um, topic is the conservation of energy. Okay, so I think makamigyan na natin to. Yung mga conservation of energy again is only conservative forces lang yung nandun. Okay, kaya tinawag siya conservation of energy. Nasa conservative forces lang yung nandun. Okay, so conservation of energy theorem can be applied when a rigid body is acted by a force system which consists only of conservative forces. So, hindi, siya, hindi mo matatawag yung conservation of energy if meron siyang non-conservative forces na, na consider mo doon. So, ayun. If we are going to talk about conser conservation of energy, only conservative forces. Okay. So, conservation of energy theorem is often easier to apply since the work of a conservative forces is independent of the path. Kasi yun yung definition ng conservative forces mo. Independent sila sa path ng motion. And depends only on the initial and final position of the body. Okay. Hindi siya independent, independent siya sa path but it only depend sa initial and final position of your body. Okay? So that's how your conservation of energy works. Or your theorem works. Ayan. So first, conservative forces na ayun, um, example or another uh, oh yeah, type of conservative force is your gravitation potential energy. Or concept pa, conservative energy Consider din dito yung gravitation potential energy. Okay? So, that the gravitational potential energy of the rigid body is determined by knowing the height of the body's center of gravity above or below a horizontal datum or, or datum. Ay, nabahala kung ano yung basin dyan. Or reference line. Okay? And also knowing that the total weight of a rigid body can be considered concentrated at its center of gravity. So, and yeah. So, to solve your potential energy, you have your dato or dato. Okay? So, your mass times the gravity times the height from the dato or the reference line, that's your gravitational potential energy. So, as you can see here sa ano natin, figure, um, Okay, it can be computed using formula uh, weight times y sub g or the height or the distance from the datum or the de or the reference line. So as you can see here, negative yung potential energy natin kung nasa ibaba ng datum natin. Bakit? Kasi nga, your force is pababa. Okay? But your... Ang ano kasi dito, class, is assume natin na yung yung potential energy is dapat siya babalik sa datum line okay or the reference line okay if you're below below the datum line na um, body or the weight kung pababalikin mo dun sa datum line opposite ng direction sa weight mo right di ba opposite siya kung ibababalik mo dun sa datum line kasi nga ibabalik mo to sa reference line 
pa upward yung movement dapat but your work, but your weight is a downward so we can say that ah oh, yung potential energy pala ng um object natin dito sa ibaba is negative unlike sa potential energy mo sa ibaba ng datum line your if you're going to uh, consider na kailangan mo pabalikin yung object mo to the datum to the datum or reference line same lang din sa direction ng weight mo pa down more so ayun that will be your positive potential energy kung sa sa tai taas kung sa itaas ka kung iba ibabalik mo sa datum or reference line positive yung uh, potential energy kasi nga same direction sa weight mo and sa pag move to the our datum line or reference line Negative siya sa iba ba kasi nga opposite yung direction ng weight and the movement para ibalik sa datum line. Ayan lang. Okay? I hope you understand that. So, in the equation above, the potential energy is positive when y sub g is positive upward. Since the weight has the ability to do positive work when the body moves back to the datum. As shown in the figure. Okay? So, work of the weight... No, weight talaga siya. Okay? Weight lang talaga siya. So, ayun nga. When your body or your weight is going to do a positive work, therefore, your, your potential energy of the gravitational potential energy is positive. Okay? Kung, posit kung work may positive, positive din yung potential energy mo. Ganun lang yung, yung analysis. Okay? Kasi nga, Yung direction ng work, uh, yung weight mo sa pag-displace niya to the datum line or the reference line is the same. Or pareha lang, no? Unlike sa iba ba, no? Y sub g is located below the datum, now becomes negative y sub g. The gravitational potential energy is negative since the weight does negative work when the body returns to the datum. Meron tayong dalawang aspect pa dito to see this, how uh, the negative or the sign works. Pwede mong gamitin yung um, distance niya. No? I neglect mo na lang yung mga direction-direction na yan. Dito na lang tayo magbabase sa um, distance niya or height niya from the datum or the reference line. Kung above, positive view, ano mo, um, OSMG, therefore, positive din yung potential energy mo. Kung sa ibaba naman, therefore, negative yung distance mo, that will be also negative yung potential energy. So, dalawa yung analysis dito, class. Yung <coughs> distance niya, or Y sub G, no? the distance away from datum to your G, no? center of gravity or center mass of gravity. So, kung positive siya, positive yung potential energy. So, kung negative siya, negative yung potential energy. Okay? I hope that's clear. So next, next conservative energy or conservative force is your elastic force or elastic spring force. Okay, it is also considered as a conservative force. No, the force developed by elastic spring is also a conservative force. Kasi hindi siya, hindi siya dependent sa path ng um, rigid body natin. So we have your V sub E, okay, the elastic potential energy which a spring imparts to an attached body when the spring is stretched or compressed from initial and deformed position S is equal to zero to a final position S is equal to, okay, the elastic potential energy or V sub E is equal to positive one half KS squared, okay. In the deformed position, the spring force acting on the body always has its ability for doing positive work when the spring returns back to original and deformed position. Okay, I hope you get that one. Positive always yung elastic potential energy kasi yung ano niya, ano kasi dito class, um, yung thought dito or idea is when your spring is going back to its original form. Okay? So, kung kinompress mo siya, babalik, 
Kumbaga, same lang yung direction ng movement when you re- when you release the compression. Let's say the compression, no, is pa left. Okay? So yung distance na naano mo is pa left din, no? from its original phase. Kung i-elongate mo naman from its original na unstretch, same lang din yung direction na pag-stretch mo tsaka yung applied na force mo. And that's another way of seeing this um, concept. Another is when you release that uh, stretch or compress. So, when we are going to release a compressed na spring, Diba? Pa- kung pa-compress natin to, yung pa-compress natin is pa papuntang right, pa- papuntang left. Therefore, when you, re- when you release that one, it-, it will go to the right. Okay? So, yung movement niya is pa right. And of course, the force, that spring that will go going to react is papuntang right then. So, that one also positive. So, sa, ila- sa pag-stretch mo naman, when you stretch the spring, when you release that one, yung yung pag-release mo na yun, yung force na pabalik because of the spring, because of the um, specification of the, I don't know, uh, yung way of the spring, no? Bumalik siya sa original or unstretched uh, position niya. Same lang din yung force na nag-act or its reaction no when you release no so ang force na na parang reaction niya is papuntang left no and your um, distance or the uh, displacement is pa, pa left din di ba so same lang talaga always yung ano nila kumbaga um what's the, what they call this force saka displacement niya kaya positive always yung potential energy niya. Okay? So, next is the conservation of energy. So, bakit natin dinescus dinescus pa yung um gravitational potential energy at elastic potential energy kasi nga conservative forces sila. And when we are going to talk about conservation of energy, we only have to consider those conservative forces or energy. Okay? So, in general, if a body is subjected to both gravitational and elastic forces, the total potential energy can be expressed as a potential function represented as the algebraic sum. So, we call this a potential function class. The summation or the total potential energy caused by the gravitational and elastic forces. We call that potential function. We have your V sub G plus V sub E. So, this is how you solve for the total potential energy. Pero kung sinabi sa problem na compute the potential energy, tas nakita mo yung na meron siyang gravitational, tsaka na meron din siyang spring, automatic in class or automatic na, na hindi na kailangan i-mention pa ng problem na uh, determine the total potential energy, hindi na kailangan yung i-mention pa doon or i-state pa doon or i- uh, implicate pa doon. So, <clears throat> as you read the problem, determine the potential energy, tas meron siyang gravitational uh, force no, na andon, tsaka elastic force, then uh, automatic na kailangan mong isolve yung total potential energy. Okay? Hindi lang yung um, elastic spring na energy or potential energy, hindi lang yung gravitational but the sum of the two when you are asked to solve for that potential energy of that system. Okay? I hope we are clear for that. So, in the equation above, V depends upon the location of the body with respect to the selected datum or reference line. So, yun nga. Depende siya sa mga locations ng body natin with respect to the selected datum or reference line. Okay. So, recall from lesson 7.5, the principle of work and energy can be determined considering the conservative and non-conservative forces and expressed as this one. Okay? Meron dalawang work done by the forces. We have your conservative forces and your non-conservative forces. Okay? Ito talagang kumbaga yung general form of the principle of work energy considering all of the conservative and non-conservative forces na nag-act sa body mo. 
So, ito yung kumbaga, and yeah, uh, formula. Okay? So, where you're the work done by conservative forces, we have your 1 to 2 cons, cons right? Can be written as the difference of the two potential energy of the forces that is, ayan. So, V sub 1 minus V sub 2. Sa conservative. Okay? Then, we can rewrite the equation, this one from this one, or to this one, okay? From this one to this one. Kasi nga, nakompute na din natin yun that the work done by conservative forces can be written as the difference of the potential energies of the forces. Okay? So, potential energy at the initial location minus the potential energy of the final position. So, ito yung pag ng total work done by the conservative forces. Ayan. So, that will be T sub 1 plus V sub 1 plus non-conservative forces na mga na, mm, total work na mga conservative non-conservative forces mo is equal to T sub 2 plus V sub 2. Ayan. So, transpose lang natin yung negative V sub 2 sa right equation. So, if there is no non-conservative forces or it is zero, then the equation 8.5.5 can be expressed to this one. So, magiging zero tong non-cons that will be zero. Okay? That will be T sub 1 plus V sub 1 plus 0 is equal to T sub 2 plus V sub 2. So, ito na yung kumbaga simplified form when we are going to, or wala siyang non-conservative forces or 0. So, the equation above is the referred to as the conservation of mechanical energy. So, T sub 1 plus V sub 1 is equal to T sub 2 plus V sub 2. So, it states that the sum of the potential and kinetic energies of the body remains constant when the bodies move when the body moves from one position to another so from this point to to final po, final point same lang yung potential tsaka yung um, kinetic energy niya okay all throughout the um uh, movement or motion from one point to another point so same lang yung potential sum ng potential tsaka yung kinetic energy mo so that's how you work na a conservation of mechanical energy. Okay? So procedural analysis, same lang then identify the given and unknowns. Draw the figure of the diagram to show all the forces acting on the body. You have your conservative or and or non-conservative forces. Also, draw two diagrams showing the particles located at its initial and final positions along the path. Okay? For the potential energy, if the center of gravity, G, is subjected to a vertical displacement, establish a fixed horizontal datum from which to measure the rigid body's gravitational potential energy. Ayan, so kung meron siyang uh, vertical displacement, dapat meron kang uh, hor fixed na horizontal reference line or datum para ma-measure mo yung uh, potential energy or gravitational potential energy specifically sa body mo or rigid body mo. Okay? Basta vertical displacement, meron kang fixed horizontal datum line. So another, potential energy. The potential energy can be determined using the equation. Again, if hindi talaga pinansyo ng problem na total, it means kung sasabi lang, magsasabi lang siya na determine the potential energy sa dalawang potential energy yun ha. Your gravitational and your translational. Ano? Gravitational and elastic potential energy. We have your V sub G plus V sub E. Where your V sub G is weight times Y sub G. That's your gravitational energy. And take note that this um, potential energy is above the datum line. Ha? Ano na natin to? Na-discuss na natin why. Okay? V sub E is 1 half K squared and elastic potential energy. That your elastic potential energy. Okay. So, conservation of energy naman. So, apply the conservation of energy equation. T sub 1 plus V sub 1. Ayan kung madali lang tong A. Memorize. T sub 1 plus V sub 1 is equal to T sub 2 plus V sub 2. So, ayan. <clears throat> Let's solve another example. So, the 10 kilogram rod AB shown in the figure below is confined so that it ends moves in the horizontal and vertical slots. Ayan. So, ang AB, yung AB mo, okay, is confined so that it tends to move 
Okay, it ends smooth, horizontal, and vertical. Yung A, horizontal. Yung B is vertical. So, the spring has a stiffness of K, 800 Newton meter. And it is unstretched, unstretched when theta is equal to zero. Ayan, if nandito pa siya. Now, which, that's your initial position. Determine the angular velocity of AB when theta is equal to zero degrees. If the rod is released from rest, theta is equal to 30 degrees. So, neglect the mass of the slider box. Ayun, so, ano yung angular velocity kung i-release na natin? Kasi nga, bumab, di ba? Spring siya, so babalik siya sa original and stretch position niya. So, meron siyang movement. So, ano yung angular velocity when you release um, your, what they call this one? Uh, slider blocks from uh, when theta is equal to 30 degrees. Okay, let's solve. So, procedure for analysis. First, we're going to identify the given and the required. So, that will be, we have your um, length of the rod is 0 0.5, 0 point, 0 0.4 meters. And the center of gravity is on the middle. So, that will be 0 0.2 meters away from A or away from B. The stiffness of the spring is 800 Newton meter. The mass of the rod is 10 kilograms. So, uh, initial position of the theta is 0 degrees and the final position is 30 degrees. So, angular velocity rod AB when theta is, is equal to 0. Okay? <clears throat> so, draw, draw. draw two diagrams showing all forces when the rod is located from its initial position. Theta sub O or initial position is equal to 30 degrees to its final position theta is equal to 0 degrees and a diagram showing the instantaneous center of zero velocity as I see in this case at point A <clears throat> kasi sa point A class wala na siyang kumbaga let's say zero velocity siya kasi at, at point at A at point A ayan at point A zero gravity siya when we're going to release this uh, slider box to its original or stress position. So, now, <clears throat> this is the initial position of your system. So, ito yung initial position niya. Inistretch mo yung slider blocks or yung spring mo at a theta of 30 degrees. De degrees, okay? So, obviously, magiging Mahaba to. And if you release this one, babalik siya sa original position niya. And after you release, ganto na siyong, ganto na yung um, system mo. Okay? Now, inline na yung slider blocks sa A. Ay, slider blocks B sa A mo. That will be your final position. Where your S sub, S sub 2 is equal to 0. And your S sub 1 here is the sign of 30 or 0.4 or, yeah, ano na, red triangle lang to. Okay, so for the uh, the opposite side, kunin mo lang yung hypotenuse side times mo lang sa sine 30, then you can have your adjacent, uh, opposite, opposite side of the angle. Okay, so we have your y sub 1 is equal to 0 0.2 sine 30. Kasi nga, yung y sub 1 mo dito. Okay, ito yung opposite side mo is y sub 1 is equal to 0 0.2 ayan sin 30 degrees okay sa so position mo yan sa um, center of mass okay so 98.1 newton okay so let's solve in the diagrams establish a fixed horizontal datum placed in line with the rod when theta is equal to theta no theta is equal to 0 degrees as a reference and determining the gravitational potential energy. Okay, nagdraw na nata, nagdraw na tayo sa datum, which is this one. Okay. So, at initial position, the potential energy is, ayan, so potential energy niya, kasi nga, below siya sa datum line natin, dapat negative. Okay? So, below siya, negative siya. So, negative W times Y sub 1 plus 1 half K S sub 1 squared. Okay, note that the gravitational energy 
is negative because the center of gravity of the rod is below the datum line. Ayan. So that's your datum line. So solving for the V sub 1, we have negative 10 kilograms and 9.81. This is how you solve for the weight times 0.2 meters and 30. Kasi ito yung na-displaced niya, di ba? At this point to this point. Okay, from the datum line. Kasi nga, yung datum line mo, tsaka yung center of gravity niya, kasi dito lang siya, hanggang dito lang siya, so therefore your <coughs> length na kailangan mo is consider sa ride is half lang. Kasi yan dito nga, yung center of gravity mo, sa gitna. Okay, so to, to, look, to solve for this, Distance, ayan, ito, that will be negative, uh, 0 0.2 sine 30 degrees. Okay? Plus 1 half, 800, that's stiffness, times point, point 0.4 meters sine 30, that's your displacement of the spring. Sa 30 degrees. So therefore, your um, V sub 1 is equals to 6.19 joules. Okay? This is the sum, again, the sum of the gravitational potential energy and the elastic potential energy. So that will be 6.19 joules. At the final position naman, y sub 2 is equal to 0 and s sub 2 is equal to 0. That's the final potential energy. Ayan. So 0 to lahat, no? Kasi nga, wala silang uh, displacement or wala silang displaced uh, distance. So that will be uh, v sub 2 is 0. Okay? At initial position, V sub G sub 1 and mag velocity sub 1 is 0 since the rod is released from rest. Thus, the initial kinetic energy is 0. Okay? Diretsyahan na lang yan. So, walang kinetic energy na naginap kasi nga at rest. So, hindi pa siya nare-release. So, walang movement, walang motion. So, walang kinetic energy. Okay? So, the T sub 1 is, is equal to 0. At final position naman, we will consider point A as our instantaneous center of gravity, I sub I C, to establish a relation between V sub G and angular velocity G using the formula V is equal to omega times R from the kinematics. So for the V, diba? when you are going to solve from the angular velocity, you're going to solve the for the velocity. Multiply mo lang yung radius niya sa angular velocity, then you can have your velocity. So, that's the final kinetic energy is 1 half mv sub g squared sub 2 plus 1 half i sub g angular velocity sub 2 squared. So, i sub g is equal to 1 over 12 m all squared. So, this is your um, moment of inertia of this rod. And this is found mass moment of inertia of a rod at center mass g. See the list of mass moment of inertia formulas on page 1443 sa book sa i-learn nyo. Meron naman kayo copy nun. So, andun sa uh, page 1443 sa i-learn nyo. Okay? So, you can find the mass moment of inertia of the rod. This kind of uh, shape. No? You have your 1 over 12 ml squared. So, V sub G squared is equal to angular velocity times the radius. Okay, so that will be, so magiging from this to this, so 1 half, 10 kilograms times, ayan, nirelate natin yung uh, velocity to angular velocity, multiply na natin ng radius niya, which is 0.2, ayan, plus 1 half times 1 over 12, 10 kilograms times 0.4 squared times omega sub 2 squared, so, isa lang yung anon, Okay, this is your T sub 2. Okay, so therefore your T sub 2 is equal to 0 0.2667 um, omega sub 2 squared. Okay, so apply the conservation of energy equation. Your T sub 1 again is 0, V sub 1 is 6.19, T sub 2 is 0 0.2667 omega sub 2 squared plus 0 yung potential energy sa uh, final position kasi nga wala silang displaced uh, distance. Okay? So, solving for the angular velocity, that will be 4.82 rad per second. So, that will be on um, count, uh, counterclockwise na movement. Kasi nga, papuntang ganun. Okay? 
So, um, ano naman siguro yun. Um, obviously, magiging ganito talaga siya. No? When you release this one, you move niya po ganito. Kasi from uh, this one, nag-move siya po tong ganito. When you release this one, diba? Okay. Ito naman, papuntang ganito. So, your angular velocity, since it's uh, rotational um, rotational motion, so, yun dun siya. Dapat pa-rotate dun din yung uh, direction niya. So, pag ganun, pa-counterclockwise siya. So, that would be 4.82 grad per second. Okay? So, yung challenge lang dito, class, is you have to find the mass moment of inertia of your object. No? If it's this kind of uh, no, um, shape of the rod, then we have 1 over 12 ml squared. Kung iba naman, meron naman yung available dun sa 1,442 na page sa IB Learning. Okay? So, this is how you solve for or using the conservation of energy. Okay? Nasolve natin yung angular velocity niya. When this um, slider box is released from uh, angle of 30 degrees. So, nasolve natin na when you release this one pala, mag-recreate siya ng angular velocity of 4.82 rad per second. So, that's your answer. So, I think that's all for today's lecture video. No? So, up next will be your kinetics of particle impulse and momentum. And therefore, that is your last last topic natin or last lesson natin for yeah your dynamics okay so i hope you did learn something today and thank you for listening and see you next lecture video